it's just such a thrill to be with you all today. I like to think of this as my natural habitat. I, I love to be with smart people who care about the things that matter. And I think back to when we launched this, we were being disrupted. I don't know how many of you were, were there with us that evening. There had been disruption in the transportation system that day, I believe due to storms. And I arrived at the event of um, Engineering for Change just in the midst of, uh, uh, just in the nick of time to be able to walk onto stage and be able to address you all. And I look back at those remarks and we talked then about the vision we have for the future. We talked about our mission as engineers to do the things that really matter. And we also asked that question about what is the purpose of the technology that we've chosen to, to study and then to put to use. And it really, a, a very strong thread ran through our discussion and thinking that evening. We recognized that it used to be you had to climb to the top of the ivory tower. You had to have access to expensive laboratories in order to innovate and, and have impact at the level that uh, traditionally science has done. But we're recognizing that we are in a new era. We're in an era where access to digital tools and to software can make it possible for a high school student to download Siemens Solid Edge onto a computer and do what used to need an army of engineers to accomplish. Well, little did we know we would be needing those tools so desperately in the months that have intervened since then. We've, we've dealt with our healthcare crisis of COVID-19, the associated economic crisis, and in the U.S. we've exposed racial injustice as one of those underlying issues of our society that needs to be addressed. So here we are. Here we are as, as technologists, people who have a passion for making and for invention, and asking ourselves, what can we do? Well, back in February, one of the things we talked about was the idea that the UN had dedicated itself to 17 audacious goals, the Sustainable Development Goals. And we saw these two in particular, zero hunger and clean water, as two that desperately need innovation in order for us to make the kind of progress the world needs us to make. And what we recognized is that the use of these new digital tools at our fingertips Tools like Solid Edge could be game changers, really expanding what's humanly possible. And you heard from Yana the outpouring, the outpouring of interest in this program. Even in the midst of the pandemic, we all wondered, is this going to be a moment when things will stand still? You all did not stop. So in addition to the participation that, that Yana already went through, I'll share with you that we had interest from 34 countries and over 43 universities. I think about that kind of connectedness in the midst of a global pandemic, and I'm inspired. So I want to congratulate all of you finalists for making it to this stage. What you've done and what you've now contributed is truly remarkable. And yes, we'll be announcing two winners today, but I assure you, every one of you is a game changer. Every one of you is, is showing us the, how the power of technology can really deepen our human connections and, and make the world a better place for all of us.